Hello friends, welcome to Science Plus Tech. Today we would be reviewing the latest smartphone by Apple, that is iPhone SE. Yes, they have named it same, iPhone SE. Even if you look at its official website, they haven't mentioned anywhere, not even iPhone SE 2020 or iPhone SE 2. It means if you buy this phone and you are looking for its accessories, there are high chances that you might order something which is actually designed for older iPhone SE. Similar naming confusion was created with few iPad models too, back in 2017 and 18, which were named same as iPad. Uh, let's not now let's not go into deep discussion why it is not named as iPhone SE 2 or iPhone SE 9 as it was rumored Now let's talk about its specification. You can see few specification. You can see its main specification on screen As Apple says they have placed their most powerful processor into their most popular size iPhone and they have placed it in a most affordable phone that is iPhone SE as said by them. Most interesting part is iPhone SE is powered by same processor which is in iPhone 11 Pro. Apple have also claimed that Apple's A13 Bionic chipset is the fastest chip ever designed for any smartphone till date. So indirectly Apple is claiming that iPhone SE 2020 is the fastest smartphone ever designed. Since this iPhone is having smaller screen size and less PPI pixel per inch, so less processor power is needed or is required to run the smartphone. But let me remind you, even when older iPhone SE was launched, Apple claimed it was the fastest smartphone ever designed due to its screen size and processor power. But what about the reviews of the older iPhone SE? Reviews were mixed up. That is, equal number of positive reviews and equal number of negative reviews were there. This was probably because many users jumped from Android to Apple with the older iPhone that is iPhone SE most of the negative reviews were about the fact that Apple just wanted to clear its older stock of processor and other components including hardware parts similar is the situation this time too many reviews are claiming that Apple have Apple just want to clear its leftover components and hardware so what are your reviews on this reviewers are they jealous because probably they bought a costly iphone 11 pro only for its processor power and are in shock to see same processor powered smartphone being sold almost half the price what they paid for the best processor in the world On screen you can see different screen sizes of iPhone till date and also the number of smartphone being sold. Just look at the figures. iPhone 6 have a screen size of 4.7 inch and it is the most sold iPhone ever because of its perfect screen size. Not too big, not too small. The perfect screen size. Let me remind you, at present it's quite common to see people carrying phones in their hands and not in their pockets. Not because they love, love to show it off, just because big size smartphone won't fit in their pockets. I still know many people who bought iPhone 6 in 2019 due to its screen size and are happy with it. It's enough about the screen, now let's talk about its camera. Yes, it's a single lens camera, but let me remind you, 
I have been using dual camera, triple camera and even quad camera. But when compared to single lens iPhone XR camera, no other brand were able to give quality result like iPhone XR gave. Uh, so you would be surprised to see the quality of the pictures that were shot on iPhone XR and similar is with the iPhone SE. If you talk about Apple security and software and UI, it's excellent. Still, in Apple App Store, there are plenty of software which are of PC quality or you can say like we can use it on PC which are still not available in Android which might never actually be released in uh, Play Store that is Android Play Store uh, best and simple example would be Garage Band which is uh, Apple exclusive you cannot find it on Android not even similar app not even similar kind of app you can find in Android. Now let's see who should buy this smartphone. People who want good security or best security in their smartphone and at present are using Android then this could be a great chance for them to switch to Apple as there are multiple security loopholes in Android which is almost nil or not present in Apple iOS. People who earlier wanted to switch from Android to iOS but who avoided iPhone only because of its high cost so this is the best chance for you. And for music lovers, yes, for music lover, this could be the most uh, favorable or you can say the best smartphone if you love music because screen size is perfect. It might, it is easy to fit in your pocket and also storage issues won't be there. And yes, 3.5 mm jack is not there. And for the people who are buying their first smartphone, this could be the best smartphone for you. If you have an older iPhone like iPhone 5 or even older then this is the best time to switch. Uh, you might say who is using iPhone 5 in 2020 but uh, I know many people who are still using iPhone 4 and 4s and are happy with it. People who would like to own a smartphone that could fit in their pocket. Uh, now let's talk who shouldn't buy this smartphone. If you love watching movies and videos on a bigger screen smartphone uh, that is bigger than 5.5 inch then please don't buy this smartphone. You would highly regret it buying this smartphone because it, its screen size is just 4.7 inch. If you own a premium smartphone that was launched after 2017 then you might or you can ignore the smartphone this is because you might hate its camera a little bit you might sometimes feel like its camera is not good but let me remind you premium smartphone doesn't mean a uh, like i may give an example of mi phone or any other brand chinese brand which is cheaper it doesn't mean i'm talking about those premium phones i'm talking about apple samsung nokia OnePlus and those kind of companies. Now if you own iPhone 8, iPhone 7 or even iPhone 6s, you can further wait for for new iPhone. That's it for today and thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please do subscribe for more such videos. Have a great day.